Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel for the Ranch Stem Review and another Unterfränkisches Lager. This one is from Brauerei Güller, located in the town Seil am Main. And it comes in this um, Bügelfer Schluss bottle, as you can see. Always right time for an Unterfränkisches Lager, in my opinion, even though Unterfranken is a little bit more known for their pills. Uh, I have high expectations of this one. Uh, Güller. Brauerei, also called Zur Alten Freiung, located in the town um, Seil am Main, which is quite large, even to Franconia standards, brewery, as far as I understand it. I don't really remember the annual output, but uh, we'll find out about that later on in, uh, in the review. This brewery is uh, having quite many contract uh, brews as well, you know, where they continue to uh, brew uh, through original recipe um, beers for uh, brewers that has been closed down or something like that which is something positive in my opinion I also want to mention that this is the second of two uh, brewers in Franconia with the name Göllo the other one is from Trossendorf I've been reviewing the lager from uh, the other Göllo brewery before on the channel so feel free to look for uh, to that one also um, and check it out if you're interested <clears throat> but this is about the Göller Seilam Main brewery and the uh, Bügel for Schluss bottle always right time for a Bügel for Schluss bottle there is uh, some things that makes it really positive uh, it's an older um, older bottle shape um, uh, which is of course a positive thing comparing to the NRW bottle. Uh, it's also a little bit funnier to open and it helps the beer to be kept fresh in a special way compared to the, the crown cap. Um, and it's the lager that I'm having, it looks like this. I also have the dunkel from this beer which I'm gonna review in the future, that's at least my plan. Uh, I really like the label of this one. Of course the brewery as I mentioned is quite big so they, they have the money to uh, do which label that they want. Here's the back label also. Of course, I'm gonna read through closer from that later on in the review, but let's start with uh, with open up the bottle, and uh, we're doing it with the bigger flaskus like this. Um, not always that the plop is really loud; uh, still, it's fresh, so you don't have to worry about that. And let's pour it up into the Podresto well fitted glass. Always important to use the right type of glass um, because it uh, it really helps the beer to be the right aromas to be unleashed, like in this case, as you can see. The nice thick two finger white foam crown. We have it all into the glass right now. And it looks really, really nice, in my opinion. <clears throat> With this two finger white foam crown and uh, beautiful foam head. A nice Balmastine color, also. I don't know if it's unfiltered, but let's find out that later on in the review. <clears throat> Looking really, really appetizing. Let's get the aroma. which is really really fresh of course uh, it just makes me very interested to to try this one good little lager lager can be so much it could be in this color it could be pale it could be like a hell like a pills um, many different taste varieties in the uh, if you just call your beer a lager there's so many loggers, different types of, of loggers, but let's find out what this is all about. The Gullo Seilam Main Lager. Prost. Yeah. This is really great in my opinion. It's really rich in taste. A little bit like a, a Belstein colored lager high quality raw materials that's easy to fill in the uh, 
the taste, I would say. Uh, of course, it's a big recommendation. I really hope that you uh, that you can find it and judge for yourself the Gullo Lago. Uh, with its great looking label, I always like when it's a picture of the brewery, like in this case, the old brewery, Gullo Lago. Uh, and uh, yeah, let's read from the bottle. Det var i Gullo to Alten fra Jungen, site 1514, traditionell Gullo Lago, premium urwürzisches Vollbier. Ja, that's uh, of course, if I was reading that, I, I was knowing that it was gonna be a color like this. Urwürzisches Voll, um, Vollbier. Nach einem Rezept aus der guten alten Zeit. <laughs> Sounds real nice. Uh, from a recipe from older good time does it translate to traditional traditional gullo lago premium urwürziges vollbier gullo gullo de is the link to the brewer's website which i'll of course link to in the description box below die braut nach dem bayerischen reinheitsgebot von 1516 zutaten wasser gerste malz hopfen brauerei gullo nein Seven four seven five cycle on my alcohol content five uh, four point nine percent volume. <coughs> yep, tastes great, of course. This Golo Lago, <coughs> of course, a big recommendation. Really great. Uh, not more to say about that. Let's um, take a look at the books that I'm having about Frank Conneburys. We have, for example, this book right here. And um, here we see a look at the Brewery Gullor Seilam of Mine, looking like this. Always interesting to have a look at how the brew is looking like, reading some history about it while I review or drink a beer from the brewery, in my opinion, because this uh, Frank Conneburys is having so much history. Gullo zur alten Freiung. Franz Josef Gullo, uh, Gunn dir ein Gullo, founded 1514, family owned since 1908. Uh, wir sorten Gullo Original, which is a pils, and uh, premium pils now, Lager, Steinhauser Weise, Kellerbier, Dunkel, Rauchbier, Rotzeidla, which is a hellest light beer. Freyungs weiße, dunkle weiße, alkoholfrei and hausbräu hell. Very many beer styles, of course. Uh, and some seasonal ones. Uh, Meist trunken, Gullo original, and you output 50,000 hectoliters. Der Himmel über Zeil ist blau und weiß, okay. Brauerei <coughs> Gaststätte Gullo. Yeah, that was the information from that book, which sounds really great, of course. Now over to the other book about Frank Conneburys that I'm having, which is this book right here. And here you can see Brauerei Gullor zu alten Freiung, like this. Um, Information is uh, founded in 1908, which is a different year compared to the, the other book. Franz Josef, Fritz, Max and Felix Gullo. I put 55,000 hectares. Brauerei Kompetenz in Familien Tradition. Seit 1908 is the Brauerei in Familienbesitz. Franz Josef Gullo and seine Frau Eva führen das Unternehmen in der dritten Generation und sind gerade dabei es an die drei Söhne Fritz, Max und Felix Gullo zu übergeben. Ihre Wirtspezialitäten braucht die Familie nach allen Regeln der Zunft. Mit dem großen persönlichen Einsatz und Leidenschaft, Brau- und Mannsmeister Franz Josef Gullo war im Jahr 1976 Deutschlands bester Brauer. Der älteste Sohn Fritz hat äh, als Diplom-Braumeister bereits Verantwortung in der Produktion übernommen, gemeinsam mit dem jüngsten Bruder Felix, 2013 Bundessieger im 
Brauer und Mölzer Handwerk und Getränkebetriebsmeister leitet Fell äh, Fritz den technischen Bereich. Der mittlere Bruder Max Göller ist Brauingenieur, hat den kaufmännischen Bereich sowie die Leitung von Betrieb und Verkauf übernommen. Besonderen Wert legen die Göllers auf die Nachhaltigkeit und nutzen modernste Energiespartechnik und eigenen Solarstrom vorbildlich. Uh, very interesting information, of course. And this story is really, really great. That's good of Silent Mine. Thanks for watching. I hope you like my reviews and see you again in the next Franconian review.